The first day of the Australian Open should all have been about matches on the court. Instead, the first day was hijacked by this supposed investigation by the BBC and a tabloid media outfit called BuzzFeed, indicating there is match fixing going on in world tennis. Well, they have not produced any evidence, they have not produced any names or specific matches that maybe have had to do with match fixing. And until that is produced, what they've produced as far as an investigation is concerned is all hearsay and suspicion and it really means nothing until that evidence is there the tennis integrity unit cannot pursue anything these people have got to come up with their list of names present it to the tennis integrity unit for any further action to be done because right now they're tarring all players with a similar brush and that's not fair on the sport and it's not fair on the players Chris Camo, the head of the ATP World Tour, made it very clear that allegations from this supposed report says that tennis is covering up past indiscretions. Well, that is absolute rubbish. Tennis is too high a profile sport, too important a sport, and too clean a sport to be doing any such thing. So they have still not produced any sort of concrete evidence to say even that was part of the whole situation. It's surprising that a, a major media outlet that has such an incredible reputation as the BBC would get involved in something like this. As far as BuzzFeed is concerned, that doesn't surprise me because that is a tabloid media outfit. So until anything happens, until these names are produced by these media companies, nothing will be done and what is being said is just hearsay and should be ignored. That was a sentiment echoed by Roger Federer as well as Novak Djokovic. No, no names, no evidence, no matches, no evidence. Until that comes to the forefront, this story should be back on the back pages, in fact, off the back pages of any newspaper, and that newspaper should be wrapping for fish and chips.